Now then, so as many of the sort of regular viewers of my channel will know, um, over the last year or so, it's all been a bit science fiction, a little bit fantasy uh, based. What I've decided to do is get back to historicals and uh, decided to go with a bit of bolt action. Um, now, a big shout out goes to my mate Dave, Dave Doherty. Um, he can be found online at one man and his bushes blogspot.com. Um, he gave he actually gave me all these all these miniatures um, where he gave me a, a box of the Perry plastic Eighth Army figures last year, uh, and he also gave me some other bits which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and I've been kind of sat on them for a little while, uh, thinking what to do with them. So I thought, why not go for bolt action? Um, it seems like a, a fun a fun game that you could get a couple of games of on a gaming day, or you know, uh, perfect game for a club night or whatever. Um, yeah, so this is the little force I've got painted up so far. Um, it comes to about 443 points or something, according to Easy Army, Bolt Action Easy Army online. Um, I'm yet to get the, the actual Forces of Great Britain book. Um, I'll be getting that when I get paid next. Um, i got to try and keep the wife happy. Um, yeah, but I got the I got the second edition book, which is really good actually. Um, very similar to the first edition, but some key differences in their uh, use of templates and things like that. And it's a really nice book, as you'd expect from Warlord and Osprey. Um, but anyway, so what have I got here? So I've got Platoon Commander and an alternate Platoon Commander. So I actually did two of them. One's got a submachine gun, one's just got a pistol. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll probably run the, um, the guy with the submachine gun as the actual Platoon Commander. And then this guy here will be an additional officer, like a higher ranking, maybe a company to IC or something like that, um, who's come down to see what's going on. Um, three sections of eight. Uh, each one's got a print gun, so there's one in each in each section. Um, and each each section is led by an NCO with with a submachine gun. I'll show you one there for focus. Yeah. Um, yeah, so three sections of eight, uh, and then also a boys anti-tank rifle team there. Got this finished off last night. These are all plastic figures out of the box set. Pretty cool, well, I think they're really good. Uh, and then a two inch mortar team as well. Um, I've actually got a few figures spare as well uh, out of that box set, so I could actually up these sections to ten men each, which I might do. Um, but I was saving them for maybe converting them into like SAS or uh, long range desert group type guys. Um, a few more little bits to paint as well. Um, what I've got is another radio operator here. Uh, he's just undercoated at the minute. He'll probably go with the company to IC. Um, so he's got a little bod with him. Uh, and then I've got what you can have uh, with the British armies is you get a free... Um, Artillery Observer, so I've got this guy here, uh, and he's didn't want to be by himself, so he's got a little mate there. I've given them both hats to make them look slightly different. Um, two Royal Artillery guys um, calling an artillery there, uh, and they need painting yet. Um, so what else have I got then? Uh, first thing I've got to paint is I've got a Bren Carrier, again given to me by Dave, so thanks very much Dave, very generous guy. Uh, this is a Perry Miniatures one. Um, resin, really nice to cast as you can see there. Really like it. Uh, and what comes with that is you get the metal crew and an assortment of different weapons there. So you've got the anti tank rifle, the Bren gun, the Bren gun on its pintle mount, anti aircraft roll, and three crewmen to go inside it. So that'll be on the painting table soon. Oh, and you also get a little bag of stowage type stuff as well to stick on, on the vehicle. And um, what else I've got? Again, given to me by Dave, is a six pound anti tank gun. Um, I was going to do the earlier part of the war, so I was going to get myself a two pounder, but as soon as I've been given this one, um, I'll get this one painted up, but I'll get a two pounder as well so I can swap it in and out uh, depending which period of the desert campaign I'm going to go for. Uh, yeah, Perry Miniatures again. So, yeah, this is just a quick, quick and easy little project really. Um, my aim is to get the army to about a thousand points, so I'm going to get myself 
um, a Valentine, Valentine Tank, um, Valentine Mark III, yes, and a Vickers Mark V Bravo, I think, that had the machine gun in. Really weird looking tank, but probably about the same size as a Bren carrier, to be honest. Um, and that classes my armoured car. Uh, maybe a section of Royal Engineers and a few other bits and pieces as well, uh, machine gun team and stuff like that, Vickers. Um, so yeah, that's my little force so far. Um, I've gotten them really quick, I've painted all these up in just a couple of days. Um, it's a case of striking while the iron's hot, because I'm quite a uh, wargaming magpie and it, it, I see shiny things, I've got to buy them um, and start doing something else. So while I'm interested, I'm going to get them all done um, before I drift off to uh, painting more space marines or something else crazy. Um, but anyway, I've rattled on long enough and thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.